So your business has dropped dramatically, or maybe you're starting your business and you're struggling to get bookings. Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you a suggestion that I told one of the biggest photographers in the world and help them to get more business when they noticed that their sales were dropping dramatically. So first of all, who am I? Why am I doing this video? My name is Mike Patterson and I'm a full-time professional photographer located here in Southern Alberta, Canada. And I've been doing photography now full-time for over 38 years. I run a full photo studio. I also run one hour lab. I also do teaching. I also do mentoring. I do a whole pile of stuff and I've been in this industry and I've seen stuff change over the years and I've seen photographers start to struggle. So I've started to make these videos so that I can help you get better pictures and help you get more from your business. If you have a business, today's video is a business video. I, I know people always, Oh, it's a business video. I'm just going to skip it. No, no, no. You need to watch this. If you're thinking of making money in any way, shape or form, from your photography or from any business, you need to watch this. Now, I'm, I don't sell anything. I don't sell a program. I don't push you to a book or anything like that. I'll give you all the information in this video. So let's get started. This video actually started over four years ago. I had a photographer contact me, a very famous photographer, a uh, photographer with a quite a large business, well, a, a very large business. Let's put it that way. And they contacted me not because I'm the world's smartest person, not because I'm the world's best known person, but because I'm a person that has been in this industry for a long time and I've seen a lot of stuff change and this person was having problems and wanted to talk to somebody that had been in it as long as they had to bounce ideas off of and to talk about things. And here was the gist of the whole conversation. Been doing this for a long time, have a number of photographers that work for me, have office staff, I have a big operation and my sales are dropping. We talked about all the basic stuff. How's your quality? Excellent. How's your prices? Nobody complains about that. How's this, that, and the other thing? How's the economy in your area? Hmm? We talked about everything and I couldn't come up with an answer for them. So like I do many times, uh, we said our goodbyes and I told them that I'd get back to them within a week or two weeks or a month after I had a chance to think about it. Week, week and a half went by customer came in to pick up some pictures here and we got chatting like most people do about the photography business about photography and so on and so forth in the conversation they mentioned something now this person sold in a complete different realm of photography than the person that i had been talking to online didn't really s click in or anything like that it just went in one ear and out the other ear. a few days later another photographer walked in same basic talk same this same that and the same comment about business. But they mentioned something that really clicked in. And when they mentioned it, the previous photographer clicked in. The person I talked to online clicked in. Everything just dropped into place. I went, I wonder. I wonder if this is all related. So what the heck did I figure out? Well, when, we get, when I was talking to the other photographer, well, for all three photographers, they all mentioned the same thing, but in different ways. The two photographers that photograph weddings and families and boudoir and babies and maternity and, 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 and all mentioned the same thing in that their clients were booking other people. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. And the nature wildlife photographer that was in here said, I'm not selling as much. People are buying, but they're not buying from me. So, hmm. So I contacted the person that had, con that had contacted me about their problem. And I says, I need you to do a little bit of research for me. I said, I need you to contact some of your past customers and ask them some questions. You can word it however you like. You can do it in person, online, over the phone, whatever you like. Ask them if they're still booking photographers, when they booked the photographer, why they booked the photographer. So they did that. Half a dozen, dozen, I don't know how many they called. They said it was quite a few. And they asked them and all the customers that they talked to said they were still having family pictures done. They were still having wedding photos done. They were still having uh, kids photos done, so on and so on and so forth. It was still happening, but they had booked other photographers, but it was the why that was so shocking. They booked the other photographers because it was convenient at the time. They had seen the other photographers work online and booked them at that time. So people were booking fall pictures, Christmas pictures in 
May, June, July, August. Times when we would never do that before. People were booking weddings throughout the year. People were booking things that just didn't make sense. We used to book a lot of our boudoir and glamour sessions for around Valentine's Day, January and February. Well, they found out that people were having them done all throughout the year. And this threw a big wrench into things. Now, I want to take wedding photographers as an example because wedding photographers had the probably the most cookie cutter schedule that you could get. All summer, from early spring to late fall, we shot weddings like crazy. Then come late fall, we started marketing our services at wedding shows, at all these other things in October, November, early part of December. Then we'd take a break through Christmas. Then we'd start again in January and February. And by that time, we were booked up for the year. Well, here's what we found out. The wedding people were booking throughout the year. Weddings were being booked in June, July, and August. People weren't waiting for wedding shows. In fact, when we talked about this, we found that at wedding shows, 99% of the people that were there already had photographers booked. They weren't looking for photographers. They booked. And the reason they booked was because it was easy to book at that time when they saw it online and they wouldn't forget about it. They wouldn't put it off. They wouldn't miss out. So I told this photographer, and again, this is a huge business that they had, that they needed to start marketing their weddings throughout the year, their glamour and boudoir throughout the year, their Christmas sessions throughout the year. All of this stuff that they usually left to certain times, they had to spread it out. They thought I was nuts. But fortunately for them, they thought, even though I was nuts, that they would give it a try. And they found it made a huge difference. Even during the lockdown, even during when they were had economic troubles in their area where they operated, they started getting bookings at weird times of the year. April for a boudoir session, for a Christmas gift, or for a Valentine's gift. Weird. Bookings for Christmas photos. Christmas photos in November that they were getting booked for in March, April, and May. They started getting huge bookings, so big that their sales actually surpassed their best year, which was several years previous, within one year. Now, that was the portrait photographer. What about the nature and wildlife photographer? Well, I talked to this one nature and wildlife photographer who I know quite well locally, and I said, you need to start marketing yourself throughout the year. And they says, well, what do you mean? I says, well, when do you market yourself? Well, I go to craft shows. I go to my Christmas markets. I go to this, that, and the other thing. I says, are you making the sales? Oh, no, our sales have just plummeted. I says, but people are still buying. I says, but they're buying throughout the year. Oh, I never thought of that. They would post beautiful pictures throughout the year, but they wouldn't put buy now for Christmas. They wouldn't put buy now for Valentine's Day, buy now for they would just put up a beautiful picture and say, I'm in Alaska photographing this, and this is a beautiful picture, and that would be the end of it. So I told them, you need to start marketing yourself year-round. They started doing that, and their sales increased. How do I know their sales increase? I print for them. So as I print more and more and more, and I talk to them more often, they say, yeah, we're selling two pictures in May when we would never sell a picture in May before. We're selling five pictures in June when we would maybe sell one picture in June. We're selling 20 pictures in August, whereas our best August was five pictures before. Yeah, people are buying throughout the year. So as a photographer, as a business person, we need to start changing what we're doing. We need to start targeting our market throughout the year. Yes, it can be difficult. I understand. When you're busy shooting weddings, if you're a one-person operation, or even if you're a 20-person operation, it can be hard to think of marketing your wedding sales all year round when you're busy with all the other stuff, but we have to do it. We have to get out of that box that we put ourselves into and do it. Perfect example, and I'll say this and talk about this in closing. I talked to a photographer locally that does weddings, and they mentioned something in our chat that was just, it was just perfect. This is a new photographer. This person has a good social media presence, but hasn't been around for a long time. 
but they market and have marketed their wedding services every month of the year, every week of the year since they started. And they told me that they get as many bookings in April as they do in November. They get as many bookings in June as they do in January. Why? Because when people are online and see something, they think about it and they book it and they're done with it. I had somebody walk in here the other day and bought two beautiful prints. Of course, they were mine, so they're beautiful prints. Nature and wildlife prints. And it was for Christmas. Well, we usually don't sell in late August, early September for Christmas pictures. This person did. And I asked them, why are you buying now? And their response was absolutely perfect. It put the ribbon on the box. They said, we order our Christmas stuff early because we get so busy around Christmas that would rather have it done early in the year than wait and miss out. We would rather get it ordered and know that you have time to fulfill it than to come in last minute and miss out. So if you're a photographer of any sort, you need to start marketing your services throughout the year to all of your different potential clients. And that will help you to get more business. That will help you be more of a success and it'll help your business to flourish. So until next time, get out there, take some amazing pictures, but market yourself and market yourself constantly. I'll talk to you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.